is Tariq Talk. Your host, Tariq Mendez, takes you on a journey with guests from all around the world. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. This is Tariq Talk. Guys, today I'm here with Keely. Keely, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Awesome. Thank you for being on the podcast today. Do you mind sharing your Instagram with us? Yeah, it is just uh, my first and last government name. It's uh, Keely, K-E-I-L-L-E-Y-B-A-N-K-S. Keely Perfect. Banks. Love that. Everybody go check her out. Follow. She has amazing work. Um, do you want to start off by telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so uh, I'm originally from New Jersey, Okay. Um, but I moved around quite a bit, um, and I think that's definitely influenced my work a lot. Um, I mean, it's kind of just been up and down the East Coast, but it was at very young ages, so I think uh-huh. that that definitely influenced the way that I see the world and the way that I meet people. Um, and, and yeah, so I've been living in Brooklyn for about three years now. Oh, wow. um, I officially became like a, a full-time artist, whatever that means. Oh, congrats. Um, about a year ago, uh, after working in finance for three years. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of just like had a big life change. I yeah. just had an epiphany and I was like, this is not me anymore. I'm someone else. Yeah. Um, and then I just kind of started doing art for real. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Um, yeah. And it took about a year for me to like get my head wrapped around the fact that this was like my new reality. Yeah. And now I am an art director at a gallery in Brooklyn called oh, Brooklyn so Art Oh, that's so cool. Cave. And then do you want to tell us, like, how is your creative process? Like, how do how do ideas come to you? Yeah, so I think that ideas come to me um, definitely through people mm-hmm. um, and my relationships with people. Yeah. Um, and I try to surround myself uh, with both people, but also like in spaces that, you know, really inspire me and... Uh, represent like my community yeah. and you know the people that I paint um, all of my work is like black portraiture and also queer portra- portraiture so um, I try to spend my most of my time in those spaces um, just being inspired by like the relationships that people form yeah. the relationship they form with me with each other and I'm a really observant person um, I, I like to talk to people and I yeah. like to you know what be sign on, are you but <laughs> I'm a Libra, oh, you're a Libra. <laughs> I'm a Libra okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah I like to be out and talking to people but I'm also an observer yeah. and so I spend a lot of time like by myself yeah. and I go out to cafes or I go to spaces and I just like go to meet people and just observe and um, just like take a in like take a part of my community you yeah. know, be, a, be a part of it and, and then create my work that represents it and then I noticed like your paintings are very detailed very colorful when you get to the studio like what's your process like are you able to get to work right away or do you kind of like to like meditate have a coffee get the vibes and then get to work yeah, so I have I have kind of a weird process. Um, I do something called like it's like I just call it like an all day paint, uh-huh. or it's just like it's just like a, it's a very long painting session. Oh, wow. Um, aside from like my new collection that I'm working on, because it is something that is taking a lot longer, it's more detailed than the rest of my work has ever been. But before I would essentially, I would. All of my work is kind of based off of what I'm feeling and what I'm sensing in in my world. And so, like, I'll be feeling something and then, like, I'll see a reference image or I'll see, like, a person on the street and I'll, like, ask to take their photo or something. Oh, wow, that's Um, so cool. And it's just, like, or, like, a look on someone's face. Like, I'm feeling exactly like that. Yeah. Um, And then, so, yeah, so I'll, like, be inspired by that. And then I will essentially, like, take the reference image, um, you know, or however I want to do it, trace out what I want on the canvas. And then I will sit there until it is done oh wow yeah and so i will it always starts with a cup of coffee yeah um out of one of my mugs which are available online <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> nice plug in yes um, do you want to share your website uh yeah it's uh colors by kb dot big cartel dot com nice. um, all my stuff is for sale on there I have lots of uh merch and things but yeah every morning and every paint session i always start up with a cup of co- a cup of coffee um and i drink it out of a mug I start off every painting session with a cup of coffee um, and then I just sit down in the most comfortable outfit that I can put on and I just start and I just keep going um, all night. And so sometimes like when I get inspired, it could be 11 p.m. Oh, wow. Which is like, which is also why it's a little hard to have a regular nine yeah. to five job. Especially at this work point. in finance and be creative. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Sometimes when this process starts, it's like 11 p.m. So um, 
I just have to, I get the idea and I have to do it then. Um, Cause I don't think that it always comes at the right time, yeah. you know, and I can't really depend on the fact that I'm going to feel creative. Like first thing when I wake up in the morning, um, I have a life, you know, I have, yeah. I have bills to pay, I have other yeah. things to do and focus on. Yeah. Um, although I am a full-time artist, like art is also a business. So, you know, I have to spend a lot of my time like answering emails and writing pitches for myself and yeah. stuff like that. So it's not always a super creative thing being an artist. Um, but when it does happen, you have to jump on it. And yeah. sometimes that's from the hours of 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, wow. And you're able to like paint through and... Yeah. That's amazing. That's another yeah. talent right Strong there. Strong cup of coffee. Wow. Strong cup of coffee. <laughs> that sounds like five expressos to me. Yeah. <laughs> and lots of loud music. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, exactly. And then how do you keep track of your ideas? Like when you get inspired, you do you jot down something very... I just met you, but I'm taking a lucky guess. You seem to have like a photogenic memory, like a... You take like, you know, photo memory. I'm kind of like that too, but the way you're talking about observing, I do that sometimes with my memory. Um, But do you like write down ideas and stuff like that? Yeah, so I think that like typically, like I am, you're right, like I do kind of have a photographic memory when I see like especially like i said earlier about like seeing the expressions on people's faces yeah. that's really like something that does it for me especially yeah. on the train yeah. so being in new york in general is like a huge i feel like people on the train are their most authentic self because yes. whatever they're going through you see right on their face exactly and we think we're safe because we're in front of the strangers we'll never see people but you know what i mean no like i'm watching yeah <laughs> like, like guaranteed i'm looking at you on the yeah. train like yeah. because i'm observing your life and i want to paint about it um but yeah so i i do kind of have like a photographic memory in a way just like memorizing the looks on people's faces yeah. And I think like I think that helps me create the emotion in yeah. the in the paintings. But also like I also like write poetry and mm-hmm. I write my notes a lot. Like I'm constantly like I you know I wanted to be a writer when I grew up, so I also write a lot. And so like a lot of these things kind of move together. And like it's like I'll paint about an overall feeling. Like the work I'm I'm doing right now, it's um it's called Lend Me a Hand, uh-huh. the piece that I'm working on here at this um, this gallery opening. Um, and it's essentially about like this has been the, the hardest time as an artist in my life. I've never I've never experienced challenges like I am right now, to be honest oh, wow. with you. And um, but I've just learned that I've always been such an independent person. But I've learned that like you really do like sometimes you need someone to lend you a hand. Yeah, and, like you, you need, need the village. As they you say. need yeah. you need the village. Like you cannot do this alone. Yeah. Like at all. Like in New York City, generally as a person. What do you mean? Like if you don't mind sharing, like if you mm-hmm. don't mind elaborating. Yeah. What do you mean? Like it has been the hardest. Like you mean like creatively or. Um, I would say it's not even creatively, like but the business I, side? but the business yeah, side yeah, of yeah. it and just kind of figuring out like how to, you know, be, be an artist in New York City, yeah. like, and you know, like afford my apartment and like also like, I think that a lot of the part of being an artist in today's society is also like staying on social media yeah. and like making sure you're out at events, making connections and all of these things and like keeping track of that has just been, it's been challenging for me. Um, I think like networking has always been like pretty easy for me generally, but I think in this space having to be so on, it takes away from my creativity a lot. And so like, I've just been trying to balance all of it. And then, like, all of the, like, natural being in your 20s mental health things, yeah. you know, all of that at once. And then, you know. And life on top of that. <laughs> and life on top of that. Yeah. And, like, you know, going from, like, you know, such a, like, a, like, low-key, like, highbrow job yeah. to, like, now being creatively an artist. Free, right? yeah, yeah, creatively free, but also, like, an artist in New yeah. York, you know. The, the budget's different now. Yeah. And, you know, dealing with the realities of that. You know, it's been has been a challenge for yeah. sure, and and also like being able to take opportunities. Like, there's opportunities that I've gotten that I haven't been able to pursue because you know not being able to afford it and things yeah. like that. Um, so just like trying to figure out how to do this for real successfully. Yeah, um, but it's coming together. It's working. I love on that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing <laughs> that. It was beautiful and definitely motivation for a lot of people listening. Mm-hmm. And is there anything that you like want to do in the future in terms of like mediums or projects, whether it's like large sculptures or pottery clay or anything like that yeah so um two things so i think that medium wise i'm really obsessed with spray paint right now Mm -hmm. um i'm actually spray painting something for the first time uh tomorrow for an event uh, yeah which is gonna be fun i'm working with another artist um on like a fashion week project oh that's so cool he's doing um it's gonna be awesome um but i'm spray painting for the first time um so i want to like get more into that like I low key want to tag stuff. Oh, cool. Like, I wanna <laughs> just, I feel like it's just like I'm really into street art right now. Yeah. And, you know, some of my favorite artists that do street art are here at this event oh, nice. tonight. And um, just like I, I'm so inspired by all of them. And like I think that, 
you know, I have so much art in my apartment, but yeah. like I want it on the street. Like I yeah. want it. I want to see it everywhere. And I would love to do a mural, but until then, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I would like to do an outside mural, but until then, you know, that's so cool. I might yeah. have to see see some spray paint. Yeah, you know, and see how that works. Um, but then also like next for me, like I really want to like take my work internationally um so i got into a residency program in france oh, congratulations when is that happening thank you um it should be at the end of november i'm um, in the fundraising process oh, of, cool. of trying to get myself is there. it this year yes oh my God, yeah congratulations. so it's, it's coming up thank you yeah. thank you what and part of france um it's like the south of france oh, it's, the best yeah. part of france yeah. no exactly i'm so excited yeah. about it it's gonna be like like I love the hustle bustle in the city. I yeah. love how inspired I am being here. But like, <sighs> nothing beats just like unplugging oh yourself God. a little bit and then coming back. Right? Yes, like I just need it's gonna be for a whole month. I just need to go there and just like make art. Like yeah. that's the goal. I just want to like, go there. I have so much in my mind. I have so much I need to create, but literally no time to do it. I'm out here like hustling. So, you know, I just need the time away. And so I'm yeah. really excited about it and like for what work will come out of that. That's so well. cool. And now that you're creatively free, mm -hmm. do you ever find yourself when you're doing something creative like do you ever have, do you ever have flashbacks of your like <laughs> 9 to 5 strict finance job and you're and then you come right back to reality like oh thank god I'm not there anymore. No, literally like it's it's funny like cuz I feel like I was a whole different person back yeah. then. Like I literally feel like I had an entirely different personality. Yeah. Like I just was not myself at all, yeah. you know. And I'm just generally free as a person more yeah. now and and it's like funny because you would think that like when I'm in the happiest times where that's when I'm most grateful that I've changed my life, but it's like even when I'm when I'm in the hard artist parts is when I'm like oh my gosh, like I can't believe I'm having this problem, but I'm like, but I could always be having the problems I used to have. Yeah, which is way you know? worse, right? Yeah, which is like, that was just bad for me on like an emotional, uh, an emotional, spiritual yeah. level. Like that was just like a bad sitch for me. Yeah. And like, I'd rather have these like, little problems that I'm having now they're yeah. little, but they're just like, you know, like a little bit of money a little bit of it's like spontaneous you know, problem versus yeah like, it's just yeah. like not like a holistic like my heart hurts problem yeah. you know like I'd rather no, have totally these current mean. problems than those problems yeah. like I'm so grateful that I've, yeah. I've done this with my life because no, I have friends in finance and I always tell them like you during the weekday at work is so different from like when I see yeah. you on the weekend or like when we go on vacation together. It's like yeah. two different people. No, you seriously. You know, it's like the amount of stress. It's like, <laughs> it's like, dude, you're going to have a heart attack, God forbid, you know, knock on wood. But it's like, it's crazy. It felt it that takes way. All of you, like, it takes your soul almost. No, you know? it's like, and like, why was I like 23 years old handling billion dollar deals, yeah. like for mergers? I'm like, that's. That's insane. Yeah. Like I should like I'm stressed out. Like yeah, I'm it's like the like, pressure, yeah. Like when like we're Loki supposed to be like in the forest, like yeah. experiencing life and making art and having a good time. Like no, like <laughs> but I do think there just needs to be like I'm just more a creative person. Yeah. I need to be doing this. I can't be doing anything else. And what advice do you have for like young um young creatives that are like stuck in that position where because I get this a lot, like young kids or like mm -hmm. young artists asking, like, oh, how do I take that step? I don't have the confidence. Like, what can I do? Um, I want to be an artist, but I don't know how to. Like, how, what advice would you give them to, like, take that first step, like, to, like, follow their dream, follow their heart? I think that I would tell them to get involved in the community. Mm -hmm. I think that, like, you know, I, I went to my first art show ever. Um, you know, maybe two years ago now, um, and I showed my work at it. Um, but also before that, I had never been to an art show. Mm -hmm. I was like nervous about it. I didn't, I didn't know any other artists or anything. So I was coming into it like brand new. Um, and I went to the show. I met so many people, and like I will tell you, like without those people that I met at my very first show, like I still work with those people today. Nice, wow. Like I still like they've given me like amazing opportunities, like and and, and vice versa. Like it's been incredible, but. I would say like meet people like for artists like you can be an amazing artist but yeah. also if you're just an amazing artist in your apartment like that's cool but yeah. like you know if, if you <laughs> but now able, what? yeah but yeah but like if you if you want to like you pursue this like yeah. for real you need to be out there like meeting people and like being inspired by other people and figuring out how it works yeah. and because also there's so many different ways that you can make a career out of this besides just doing paintings. Yeah. You know, like you can work with the school system, like you can do murals for them, you can yeah. be an art teacher, like you can like run art programs, like you can do all of these different things with it. And so you don't know until you start asking. Yeah. And so just like like networking, kind of like any yeah, other industry, amazing. to yeah, be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I think that's advice, why I ended yeah. up being like I don't be like I'm successful, but like I ended up being like 
uh, moving more quickly in the art world than I think I would have if I didn't have like the networking business background yeah. that I have. But it kind of all is about that. I've learned yeah. it all works together. Well, that's amazing advice. Mm -hmm. And let's do like a like a time machine kind of right. Mm -hmm. So November, you when you're done with the residency, you can mm -hmm. listen to this podcast episode and look back. Mm -hmm. What's something that you want to take away from this residency that you hope <sighs> to accomplish? Not only artistically, but like spiritually and everything else. I think that like I'm ready to be like comfortable being in quietness. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I'm I'm really looking forward to it being quiet. Uh -huh. And um, I think that there's so many feelings that I have and so many things that I I want to represent in my work, but. Yeah. I just haven't had the space like mentally yeah. or like physically or whatever to do it um, to, or the time. And so I'm just like, I can't wait until I have this experience where I just have nothing but time, Yeah, you know, and nothing but like the emotional space to like really say what I have to say. Yeah. Um, Cause I have, I have a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, you seem <laughs> and, like such an interesting person. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I just, I just really want to make art that is like beautiful and is for like people. It's like for my community. Um, and then hopefully, hopefully the goal is when I get back to have uh, another solo show yeah. that is just of my work that I made in France. Yeah. So that's the goal. That's dope. We'll, <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. If you don't mind, can you share your Instagram and your website where we can get some mugs and some cool stuff too? Yeah, yeah, of course. So my Instagram is my name. It's Keely Banks. So K-E-I-L-L-E-Y-B-A-N-K-S. And my website where you can get mugs and lighters and bookmarks and all my other merch is colorsbykb.bigcartel.com. Perfect. Thank you again. And hopefully we see each other in France. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I hope I you had an it. amazing residency. Thank you again. Thank Bye. you. Thank you for listening to Tariq Talk. Follow Tariq Talk on all social media channels and check out the video interviews online.